Hi guys, um, just a bit of a heads up video about what we've got coming up uh, in the next week or so. Um, we still got the name change, which is um, we're waiting to change the name. It will be called All About the Philippines. Now we can't actually change that until YouTube allows us to change that because you're only allowed to change the name three times in a three month period. And uh, unfortunately, a couple of months ago, I was playing around with it and um, accidentally changed it too many times. So we do have to wait. That will probably be the next month or so. So as I say, the um, the channel will be about uh, everything to do with the Philippines, and um, yeah, we hope you guys like all that content. So you'll notice the last couple of videos we've done is about being married to a Filipina and, and sending money home to your parents and also to siblings. Um, the next video coming along um, will be. Uh, sending money to uh, yeah, sending money home in general just to anyone who's asking for it um, and how to best deal with that so it's a it's a three-part series if you like um, to sort of address that sensitive issue so hopefully there's no real questions to be asked after that point and we're actually getting in these series of videos we're actually getting some really good comments by uh, many people who have been in this situation and how they handle it so it's good to see the different ways that people deal with it and what their thoughts are on it so <clears throat> don't forget to read the comments um, as well as watch the video um, but going forward we've got um, tr the next one of the next ones coming up will be traveling to the Philippines. So how much so that's a little bit of a uh, video about what it's costing us in our, in our upcoming trip in April to, for three weeks to the Philippines. Um, so it gives you an idea on cost factors, all that sort of stuff, or what we've allowed anyway. And as I say in the video, you know, you can do it whatever budget you're looking for, you can do it on, on that price. So, um, then the one after that we've got coming up is, this one's for the Filipinas. It's uh, Filipinas, how to get a foreigner to fall in love with you. So that'll be a good one for you girls to be watching out there. And then we have one coming up, age gap in relationships in the Philippines. So more about big age gaps between Filipinas and Western men. So that's another uh, sensitive and um, hot topic if you like. Uh, going around on, on um, YouTube. There's plenty of people's thoughts on YouTube about this and here I'll give you my, my thoughts around it. So I hope you're looking out for those as well as um, I think this one's scheduled for the 10th of March, dating a Filipina over 30 in the Philippines. So, you know, we're, we're looking at not so much, you, you hear about a lot of uh, Western men that date these young girls, you know, maybe 20, 22 year olds. Uh, this one's, you know, have, have, have these guys think about the value and the benefits of actually dating a, a woman in their, in their 30s, you know, um, and what that might mean to their relationship. So hopefully um, you guys will like these series of videos I've got coming up and then we've got plenty more planned uh, going on beyond that into, into towards the end of March and into April before we head off to on our trip to the Philippines where we're going to get a whole heap of really cool uh, videos over in the Philippines for you guys to have a look at. So, just that was just a quick uh, heads up of what's coming up, guys. Hope you're enjoying the new direction of the channel. Um, don't forget to put your thumbs up if you if you like what you're seeing, um, and leave your comments below, and subscribe. Hit the no notification bell for more videos because we've got heaps coming up. Okay, guys. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye for now.